Here's the rotary switch wired up as an encoder switch. This pin over here is the same as the second pin from the outside on the set of four. I'm just putting it here so that I can have it give me more stability in the board. And from the outside it's A, B, then plus and minus. I'm going to pot this up so that it stays better. This is just a quick way to make an encoder switch from a rotary switch. So if I plug this in the board, it's showing us a 2. And if I rotate it clockwise, 3, 1, 0, and then it repeats. If I go counterclockwise, the sequence goes in the other direction. Rotary switches normally give you 1 to 12 positions or whatever they're set for. Um, this one here had no stops inside so it, it completely went all the way around. Some of these switches you can bend a little tab inside and make them go all the way around. Sometimes they have two wiper arms um, you just have to see what you have. These switches are used, an encoder switch is used to detect rotation direction, not positional like the rotary switch was where it had to be in a certain detent. These just want to know which way you're rotating the knob. You can put this on a 3D printer, move the bed, you can have a couple of these, move it up and down. You can use it for moving a cursor on a screen, um, changing digits on a clock. Whatever we wire it up onto the PIC controller, we can have it do. It'll know which direction we're going, and then we just manually rotate it. So this is an encoder switch, and I'll be writing a program for it and showing that soon. Thanks for watching. So this is a make then break type switch. There we go. That's some good action there.